nerds. Improv nerds. You you realize when you were doing this is like we're, these yeah. aren't going to go viral, and we right. don't we don't really care. Well, it was a little bit like. There's two things I realized doing. One was that this is like my grad school because I never want. I wasn't. I really, really liked school. Am I jumping ahead? Did I? No, no, no. You, you're not. <laughs> One was that I didn't. I would never really liked school. I wasn't. I was good enough to get by. Like I was good enough to be the guy who just like passed everything. But I never felt inspired at school. Um, and so this first off is like this is like my grad school. It's like I'm just doing a lot of work. I'm learning how to shoot different genres. I'm learning how to put together a film shoot. All this kind of stuff. And and at such an incredible rate. There's no real time to like stop and get um, perfectionist over everything. It's just like, we set up a schedule. It's like, well, we have to turn these out. It's like, if I'm gonna deliver this sketch by next week, like we just have to do it and make it work as best as possible, which is a great, uh, it was a great learning experience. But um, the other thing I learned was, once we had done them for a while, probably three quarters of the way through that first year, and we're promoting them, we realized that to make be successful in the YouTube kind of experience or the funnier die, whatever you want to call it, the thing is you you need to be more than a funny. It needs to be more than funny. You need to be more than a good filmmaker, and more than a good comedian. You need to be a marketer. You need to be a promoter. And we just didn't want to do that. We just kind of wanted to make the videos and put them up. And it would have been great if someone else would have promoted them for us. But at a certain spot, once we realized it's like, well, we're never going to be able to really like make get a return on this in any kind of way. That's, you know, people can see him and like him, hopefully. But it just kind of was like that was pretty much the end. Where it's like, well, the only way to it was a it was a weird moment. If I'm making this clear, where it's like, we would love to keep doing this, but if the only reason people watch things is because of promotion, that sucks, and I don't really want to do that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So people are doing this now. I mean, people are doing stuff. On the, you know, they're putting stuff on yeah. YouTube and stuff, and they, they really, there's this, it, it's almost like the gold rush. They think that something great is going to happen. Yeah. What is your feeling about that? Um, my feeling on it is that I'm sure for some of them it absolutely will happen, but like that's probably the exception, not the rule. I think that to do the stuff that seems like it's the most successful, you've got to be chasing. Uh, clicks and you got to be kind of doing topical stuff and stuff that's only of the moment which is not I'm absolutely not interested in that that I mean I think that is just not what I'm interested in. I don't know to put it. I mean that's great for like a, a, a nightly television show or for improv because this is it's a theater of the moment and of right now but I'm interested in stuff that's a little bit more I guess you could call it evergreen or you could just say stuff that's evergreen or timeless not to make it sound too um, I don't know too uh, douchey, I guess is the word. I <laughs> um, just trying to make stuff that's that's I don't know, just more timely. Timely. I mean, yeah. I put it. I mean, there's that sounds bad, but that's kind of what I mean. And so a lot of the stuff I think is you got to be doing the stuff that's very like topical, and that's just kind of honestly boring to me. That's not at all interesting to me. I think what he wants is probably fairly clear. Yeah. So I think push harder uh, on what you want. Okay. Because I think there's some confusion still on what, what that is. Sure. Um, you know, and I would say you got to raise the stakes for yourself in order to, to get him to understand. Because essentially, you know, what he's asking you to do is pretty, right? Yeah. And you can't do that until the other thing is solved. That's sure. where you're at. Let's just try that. Okay, so where are we, are we redoing this or this is- Not redo it, let's just continue on. So we're just kind of heightening what we're at already. Okay, great. Uh, so this is like an hour later or something like that? Mm, minutes later. Minutes later. Great. All right.